Renico's massive tips. Relics. Relics are one of the least explained parts of Massive Chalice, and they're one of the cooler bits. Uh, what happens with a relic is you will mostly get them through a really badass hero dying or through a random event. But specifically, the badass hero has to have been using a regular weapon. They can't be using one of the fancy Cadence weapons like the Ramcap Cabo. They have to have been actively using and killing Cadence with them. Generally, what you'll find is that they will get the relics when they've also earned a nickname, but these are not entirely related. Nicknames are based on number of kills and Relics are based on the number of kills with a normal non-relic weapon. Relic generation is triggered on hero death or on heroes entering the Sage Rites Guild. A hero entering the Sage Rites Guild effectively triggers the same check as the death check. Once you have a relic, it has a unique appearance. It's got uh, various parts of it will be swapped out from a set to generate what is hopefully a fairly unique looking relic. So they tend to look cooler and they have a slightly higher base damage and they have a crit chance. All of the relics work the exact same way in that regard. The relic has its own XP track. If you go into the hero details, you can look at how much XP your relic has, how much it needs to level up. So what you want to do is not only are you trying to put the relic on a hero that you're going to use in battle, but you then want to feed that particular hero kills because you're also feeding the relic experience. Uh, you want to put it on heroes that learn quickly because I'm pretty sure it's the amount of XP that the hero gets is the amount that the relic gets. I haven't done a full test on that. That's my gut feeling. Uh, yeah, and once you do that, the relic will get more and more awesome. It's quite difficult to get a relic up to level 10. Generally, you have to work at it. In my most recent run, the relic that I literally started the game with as the backer only hit level 10 with concerted effort right at the very end. I didn't deliberately feed it kills earlier in the game. If I'd been uh, concentrating a bit more on that, then maybe I could have gotten it to work. But that is that's how it works. And be aware that whenever you Whenever you retire a hero with a relic, you are taking that relic out of circulation for a while. Hopefully not more than, uh, say, 10-15 years, because you're probably going to have them on standards, but sometimes you've got to retire it with a regent. One other tactic that I have seen people use with relics is keep a spare slot in a Sage Rides Guild. Because you, if when you retire a hero to the Sedrex Guild that has a relic, it forces inheritance as part of breaking their ties with their family. So that's one way of taking an older hero and pushing the relic down to a younger hero. I don't tend to do that, but that's certainly an option. And maybe in Brutal that, that becomes a more important thing to keep in mind. Finally, who should you pass your relics down to. The key thing is make sure that you know which heroes you're going to take into battle. In general, I will look at the, the cream of a generation and be like, you, you are awesome and so I want you to have kids. So that is someone I do not want to give a relic to. Generally, it's the second or third best hero in that family that I want to give a relic to. I don't want to give it to someone that I don't see myself wanting to use in a battle, but I also don't want to give it to someone that I'm not sure will ever actually enter battle, and if they do it'll only be one or two because I want to make sure that they're used in one of those strategic roles uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so it's really important. The first couple of games that I played, I kept giving relics to people and then I'd be like, oh, and now I need to set up a region. Oh, um, the best regent candidate just got a relic. I guess that relic's not going to be used for another 40 years. So try and not make that mistake. So that's my advice on relics. Get out there and kill a lot of Cadence with a single hero so they get a nickname and generate relics. Bye.